good morning. 9.07 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10.05 of 2001. We are going to update again all of our traders, all of our prop traders around the world and here in the USA is, is that this is a daily chart of the S&P 500 once again. We had a good size pullback and the uh, overbought levels again. So I'm going to cover this part of it, all right? So here, let's um, go ahead and go to the tools. I'm gonna to go to the info tool. I'm gonna to click here on that high was 2019 on the S&P on a daily chart. This part of the S&P on a daily chart is where we floated up here and I'm going to blow that up because the support level, when we had our last good pullback, that was um, right here. We got to 1904 on the S&P, and that was done on August 7th, and the low was 1904 then. We rallied on up. So I'm going to cover this time frame, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to blow that up, and I'm going to be happy to tell you I'm going to draw a trend line. Here it is right here. This is the trend line on a daily level. This particular trend line that's on a daily level is where we had a consolidation. We broke down. I'll draw you another trend line. We rallied up four days, made that all-time high. So basically, as we come down here today, you can clearly see um, the, uh, the bottom here. This is the bottom of the S&P on Friday. And that bottom, believe it or not, was 1926. Now, for the most of the calendar year of 2014, this top, once again, here it is. 2019, here it is. 2026, almost a 100 point reversal. And then on this last Friday, you can clearly see that on the daily simple moving averages, everything had collapsed. We were below the 100 day. You got the blue line, which is a 10 day. You have the white line is a 50 day. And you have a declining uh, daily uh 20 moving average right here. So this was the recovery rally that got in place. We almost had a 100 point pullback once again. And it's always been good because everybody buys a pullback. This one here has the beginning sign of a three days of a sell signal. And that's exactly what it is. So basically I'm gonna move this out of the way and we're gonna talk about this weekly chart. And we had already talked about it. This is that low right here of 1904. This is the high on the weekly. Now, listen, the weekly, that part that I'm going to be emphasizing is the math of the low right here. 1926, this is that week. The red line, that red line is a 20-week moving average. It's a very significant moving average. So one needs to understand that um, one needs to understand that this October we're going to start the earnings process in a couple, well, less than two weeks. Not only that, we are going to see if that bull can stay above that ten week and twenty week, and basically we had cut that move right here. This is the week that was on 810 week. And we rallied up. And once again, just like before, one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, kaboom. Now look here. One, two, three, four, kaboom. Same pattern. The only difference here is that the dip buyers came in on top of these moving averages right here. And then on a weekly level, just let me show you something else. 2014 is going to be coming to an end. And the month of October 
is a month where you get extreme price volatility. You get volatility. We were down 255 points last week, and the Dow on Friday was up 208 points. So the bear and the bull are both going to be battling it out, and the dip buyers that are on the side are watching, and they came in and they were buying. The retail trader is going to start coming. They're starting to come back into the market. The people that were washed out in year 2000, people that was washed out in 2008, well, finally, they're starting to come back. And here are the facts. The minute that you know that retail trader is coming back to the market, you are going to see a huge correction. Again, because remember, retail traders... And a lot of your big money managers, the majority of the crowd is always wrong. They come in at the tail end of a great move that happened um, in 2009. It started right here. And, and, and so we've had multiple years. We've had one, two, three, four, five. We're going on to six year. And basically we're going to cash out this year on a gain, but right now it's very interesting. I uh, just want my guys and girls to know that this topping pattern on a weekly and this topping pattern on a weekly reversal, it's the same type of pattern. Stay tuned. Earnings season is coming around the corner. Um, we'll be covering an earnings preview. So the S&P 500, we're going to see where that wall of resistance is. This I just blew this up. It's a four-week kabam. They came in electronically. They bought that 10 and 20 week. If we continue to go lower again, and we continue to go down here, right over here where my cursor was, I'm going to pull that back up for you. It's this area right here. It's just this area. That was one, two, three, four-week breakout. And we had the beginning of this weekly consolidation. We had more of a distribution than an accumulative fact. And bam, look at the size of that whip. You can see that. They came right in. Good luck on the S&P 500. We'll be updating people again. Um, oh, the retail trader. You know what? You're just going to be coming back into the market. Why weren't you coming in the market in March of 2009? 90% uh, of the retail traders... We're not in this rally, and then they come back in because they think it's going to be safe, and they buy the highs, and they get taken out again. That's what we're telling you. 